Hey everyone, Sam here. So I just want to show you a bit more about some new development workflows you can integrate um, into what you're doing. So just as a bit of background, I found this amazing API that enables you to create uh, like um, AI agents, AI voices. Uh, you can create an AI podcast, which I've created a video about as well. And I just want to, I just love keep challenging myself and seeing what I can do. And what I saw, I saw this, um, this really cool um, uh, video that they had created to market their avatars. And I thought, wow, that's actually a really cool UI. And I thought, well, maybe I can build that. And I can use this as a, as a test to see if I can connect up their, their APIs to a, a user experience like this. And I was like thinking, this is actually a cool, imagine if you could just with one click, you could click an avatar and it would be the central one that you talk to. And then you could set, you could ask a question and then that would go to the next avatar and you could have a sort of conversation with whoever you select, like AI voice, uh, AI agent roulette. And I just thought for a moment, man, I could build this. I, I, I honestly probably could. Um, and I just want to show you where I'm at so far, like how you can get to an application like this quite, quite quickly. And then I won't be able to show you the whole thing. Maybe there'll be another video, but I want to show you how far I've got within about I don't know, half an hour to 45 minutes around it. So I just, I go to this application called uh, lovable.dev, used to be called GPT engineer. And I started off with, you can just natural, natural using natural language and prompt like a detailed prompt to start off with, start working through um, the front end part of your application. So how your application looks, right? You can actually do quite a bit with your backend as well, particularly with this super base um, add-in, but also with various other things that you can add here. Um, but and, and I will do I, I will do that as we go. But I wanted to just create the general functionality of this uh, video ad that I saw around how you could click around and speak to a different avatar. So I was just working on the front end aspect of it. So I worked through here, and you know I had a lot of things were wrong, a lot of things weren't working. Um, not sure if I can actually. No, maybe maybe it doesn't actually show me. Oh yeah, so so it was it, it didn't get it right first go um, at all, and then I had to um, I had to prompt it for a while. You know that took most of the time, and then finally I got it somewhat close, somewhat close, right? At least a a place where I can now work out how to connect the APIs up to up to this, right, and have a conversation with an agent. And so the things that I've done is that you can click here and it will move the avatar you're talking to up the top. I mean, this is pretty cool, right? That I didn't, I mean, I didn't have to code any of this. Um, it's not perfect. doesn't look that great. My, the idea is that the text for the speaker, either the, either the human or the avatar will, will just do line by line down the bottom here. So it'd be kind of like, you're, you know, you're talking to a bunch of AI agents, right? Now, the cool thing is, is that, um, using using lovable you can connect directly to github which i am and so if i go over to github here you can see all of the code um it's already in a, a, a repo and then you know why why this workflow is so cool is because i can pull this repo down into another ai tool to do more heavy like heavy workload like um i can pull into cursor i can pull it into windsurf which is another one i've been using a lot and so if i come down here ai voice application Yep, so you see I've done 13 commits already. If I go to CRC, which is where all the components will be, you'll see that it's done all of these, um, all of the all of this code for me already. I haven't had to do any of it. And this is where the bulk of the code is. So AI Assistant, Assistant Hub. Okay, so all of this code has been written. If you don't know how this code works, which happens a lot, this is where you come into Data Mentor. This is the perfect tool for this, right? Come into here, go, let's just start with code explainer, 130 lines of code using the O1 mini model for this, because it's just faster, um, but also better than the 4.0 models I find, but um, it doesn't stream, that's the only difference. So if we want a bit of detail about like the underlying code, this is the workflow for that. And this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm learning things at just absolutely rapid speed, right? Hardly writing um, any lines of code myself, I'm just coming in here and understanding the code. I can understand it's far, like so fast now. 
so so much faster than I used to. Like when I, if you just look at this code here, I mean, the majority of, of non-developers do, do not know how this code works, like is how to write this code, right? But you can get to a place, you can get to a place where you can understand it well enough using um, these tools uh, very, very easily now, very easily. And so my idea now, my idea now is to move to WinSurf, right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'll show you how I do that. So I can go to AI voice application. I'm going to download the code. Okay, I'll just download it in here first. Okay, then I'm going to extract all. I'm going to place it into where all my other apps are. Okay, so this is just me getting all the code files because all it is is files. It's all there, getting all the code files onto my machine. Okay, and then I go to WinSurf, right? I go new window, open folder. I mean, this this was this was a completely foreign workflow um, to me long, long ago. Now it feels very natural. You see, to see how much is set up for you. I mean, imagine trying to do that from scratch, it'd be impossible for, for the novice user, right? But now I've got all of these applications. And what's cool, right? Like, even if I don't really know what to do at this point, I can say, um, and I can use voice, by the way, because I've got this, this is how I speed myself, my own personal workflow as well. I've got this tool that I built called Echo Assist. It's actually running in another, it's actually running here in another cursor window. And I can voice type, right? Because the IDE is a desktop application. And so I've got a voice typer here. I can say, can you help me understand a little bit more about this code and how we would actually run it and view it on my computer? I want to keep building it out. I want to keep building a lot of functionality within it, which I need your help with. Okay, so this is, uh, I very, I try to avoid typing at all, right? I just try and voice do as much as I can because it enables me to do far more detailed prompts than um, than I would otherwise. Okay, but you see here, this is where WindSurf really comes into its own. It really looks to understand the entire application. It's the context it really tries to embed. And that is unique. That's not what a lot of these other tools have been doing. I'm sure they will soon. And you see here, it just like walks you through it. Based on my analysis, I can help you understand the project and guide you. Project overview. This is a React and TypeScript project. Main functionality is centered around the assistance hub. Okay, let's go. Let's just follow. Follow. This is exactly what I have been doing. I just follow what it says. It's not always right, but it gets me pretty close. Always gets me there eventually, right? And like, I'm not going to break anything, so it doesn't worry me if this one thing is wrong or not. You see how. It's just, just com combining this new operating um, system, combining so many of these tools together is what gets you that productivity gain. That's what that's that's absolutely what I'm finding, right? Absolutely. Um, okay. Yeah. It's, it, 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 I love how it runs the terminal for you. The terminal on my computer, I mean, is just complete unknown to me. Okay. Okay, so now it's now it's talking about um, actually setting up the actual AP, like the actual agent functionality. Well, guess what? Like all we need, all we really need to do. I mean, I, I might not be able to get it all done in this one video, right? But build your own voice agents. Okay. Okay, that's not the API though. Oh, you see here, this is the video that I that I saw. So what I need to do is find the documentation about how to create my own agent, right? That I can um, that I can use. Um, so let me let me just go to Play AI, see if they got the documentation in here. I don't think so, actually.
for developers. Yeah, so there's a range of things you can do here. So I'm gonna, look, that's just my workflow. I'm, I'm, I'll, I will definitely show more later on, but um, I mean, that's how you do it. That's, that's literally how you're able to build apps super, super fast at this point. Um, yes, we need to do a lot of integration, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna find the code that enables me to do the agents. And then I'm gonna let this, cas what they call cascade in there, figure out where to actually place the code and how to connect the, the actual AI APIs, the voice APIs into the application. And then soon I'll be able to click on an avatar, talk to that avatar, click on the next one, talk to that avatar spe uh, specifically. And so I think, I think in terms of uh, uh, an application, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Who knows what it could be? It could become a learning tool, could become a social tool, who, who knows, who knows? Um, okay, I'm gonna round off. That's, uh, that's all for me on, uh, on this one. More to come.